Hey, man, I've seen I've seen you. You've done the tour of Indy today. Is there anything you haven't done today? Uh, die. That's the last thing. <laughs> I haven't died. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what. You're the life of the party around here. I actually, before they finished up, and Jay Farrow joins us. He's on the Andy Moore Automotive Group Potline. He's going to be headlining the grand opening of Helium Comedy Club at Circle Center Mall. And I, I saw it before it was done a couple of weeks ago. I don't, I don't know if you've been on the inside yet since it's been finished, but you're going to have a blast down there this weekend. Oh, I can't wait because about a month ago, I was worried. I was like, uh-oh, I need to call some help in. Yeah. Because <laughs> it looked, it didn't look like it was, but I'm glad that they finished it, man. I can't wait. Yeah, you know, <laughs> around here, people people really want the high-quality comedy like that. And I, I talked to the guys, and it just seems like that's exactly, you know, what they want to do. And I think they put their stamp on that by bringing you in here on the grand opening weekend. And that's that's something special, man. It really is. Yeah, man, it's like prom night all over again. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you got to first remember how it went down, I guess, before that all happens. Yeah, but so, yeah, Jay, yeah, Jay yeah, Farrow joins us. Hey, tell the folks out there what to expect. I mean, we've seen you on SNL and, you know, so much of what you've done in the past, and you're a damn you're, – you're one of the best Im- Im- impersonators, impressionist, I guess is what you call it. I saw you on, yeah. on Kimball do your, your Mulaney, which was just <laughs> absolutely jaw-dropping, which is awesome. But what, what – what do people what, what what do they expect or what should they expect when they see you? Listen, man, you can get you can get personal stories, you can get pop culture digs, um, uh, current events, you can get uh, growing up stories, like it's everything, dude. I talk about everything, man. And you know, I sprinkle the impressions in there in a nice way, and uh, it's one of the best live shows you ever want to see in your life, man. I stand by my brand. I can't wait. I can't wait for everybody, the whole world, to see this new special I'm working on because this will really define, I really think it's defining. So tell us a little yeah. bit about it. How A little bit, just not all of it, but a little bit about what uh, what to expect. Uh, I mean, like, I, I don't know what, what else you want me to say besides the, <laughs> what I just said. I don't know what the <laughs> Well, I, know well, I, I get. I guess. Uh, well, I, I need a little bit of a taste. I guess is what I'm saying here. Oh, bit. you want to? Yeah, taste. I want a taste of what you got. Yeah. You want a taste? Oh man, I, I don't know. Shoot, in this political climate, man, I don't know if we should be saying you want taste from anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. No, no, no. I'm saying, nah, man. It's, I mean, it's it's really, dude. I, like I'm, I am so, I, I'm off the. I am off the chain, man. Like I'm a I'm a Jesus piece that's still in the still in the jewelry <laughs> store, bro. Like I'm off the chain, bro. So it's I mean, you just buckle up, strap up. I mean, Indianapolis, what else what you gonna do? Will you go to Mariah Carey concert this weekend? No, nah, forget that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Them pipes is fried. I said it. I don't care. Well, let me let me tell you this. I'm gonna send. I am going to send a group of folks down there that are gonna be much more entertaining than anybody that wants to go see some damn vision of love song. You know what I mean? <laughs> a vision of love song staying by the crowd. Yeah. Then, she's not gonna sing it. She's gonna do it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's listen. I'm like, this isn't this isn't karaoke. Like, what the hell? I came to see you. How did, I'm not the performer. I don't get paid. I don't hit high notes. I haven't had rappers. I haven't had rappers say millions of times, <laughs> "I'm gonna make you hit them high notes like Mariah Carey." They didn't say, "I'm gonna, gonna make you hit them high notes like Jay Farrell," because I'm not a singer. Yes, right? exactly. We, well, we, you know, she's not gonna sit up there on a stool and hit that damn high note like she used to yeah, anymore. She, she, she going to try, but I don't know if it's going to be successful. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Jay Farrow joins us. He's on the Eddie Moore Automotive Group Potline. I'm telling you, this is going to be a big deal at the Helium yeah. Comedy Club coming up this weekend, their grand opening. Yeah. Who did you grow up idolizing? And, and you know, obviously Eddie, where you are right now, who do you? I don't want to say pattern because that's the wrong way to, to term it, but who did you idolize? Chris Rock, Bernie Mac, and Robert Hammond. Naturally, you know, man, I actually met Eddie Murphy, man. Eddie Murphy was very, had some very nice words to say. He was like, you know what, I want you to keep going, keep doing what you're doing, me and I sitting in the hall. We watch your stuff. And I can't believe you do the Denzel impression. I don't know how you do the Denzel, man, but wow. Just, <laughs> it's amazing, man. It's so fantastic, man. So, um, him, I did. So, him, Bernie Mac, Chris Rock, Robert Harris, and of course, Richard Pryor, but that's yeah. everybody's goat. So, and Dave Chappelle, too. Well, Chappelle is amazing, baby. Oh, yeah. he talks like this now. Chappelle has this bit about fornicating with feet. And I said, Chappelle, that is a good 
That is a good fetish to have. It's not weird at all, baby. Oh, I love it. God, that is so on point right there. So yeah. on point. I, I'm right there with you. I, I grew up with, with Richard Pryor, obviously, and you're watching you know, Live on Sunset Strip. Which, that was like the eye-opener of just absolute great comedy for me. Yeah, man, because he was, he was raw, he was unsolicited, and he was himself, and that's the biggest thing about being a stand-up comic. Man, once you figure out how to, how to portray yourself to the masses, you can pretty much, it's just putting it, putting something in the machine and getting it out, man. It's like you can, you can talk about anything as long as you're yourself. It'll be funny. If you're, if you're that comfortable with yourself, you're good. He, I mean, shoot, uh, he, Louis, Louis C.K., he's, he, Louis yep. C.K. is very comfortable. You know what I'm saying? That's very comfortable. So um, him, everybody, man, I just n- – nothing but respect, bro. Real talk. I, I remember when they did Live on Sunset Strip, he thought the first yeah. one sucked so bad. He said, let's get everybody back in here, including you, Jesse Jackson, and let's do number two. Night number two. We're going to put that one down and print it. <laughs> he said, yeah, I can't go out like that, right? <laughs> I can't do that, baby. I can't go out and let people think. That I'm not funny because I'm funny than a mama lover. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Yes. We're on the radio, I'm not going to get you fired. Don't worry. That's... I use the word radio as well. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you work in radio back in the day? I was on Hot 91 at Norfolk State University Radio for like oh. uh, three years, I think I was up there. Yeah, man. Two or three years. And uh, at first, I did a morning show called the Talk of the Town Morning Show. And then. Uh, me and my best friend did a show called What's Knocking Wednesdays, where I would come up. He had a show every night, but I would come in on Wednesdays and I would uh, and I would do Stewie's Love Line and I would do Ask Chuck Obama. And this was this dude. This is 2009. It was like Barack Obama's subconscious, <laughs> and <laughs> and so like people would call up and they'd be like, Hey, Barack, what do you think about the political climate? I I, I don't think anything about it, but I do. Think about your mom, and I think she's great. So <laughs> it would just be like stuff. It would be stuff like that, man. And Joel Santana's Poetry Corner, and like I said, Stewie's Love Line, where people will call up and ask relationship advice from Stewart from Family Guy, and I would do the impression. I'd be like, well, I think you both should have a good, you both should have Valentine's Day using chocolate and honey, and maybe you should all use sugar and wrap your bodies in that because, ooh, that's how you get kids made, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I would just, I would do that, man, and it was it was fun for the time. And then I got SNL, so, you know. Could yeah, I um, man, your time your time on SNL, I, I don't know how you look back on it, but I, this is, it's one of those great, you know, great runs, oh, I you. thought, for, for you and the cast then, too. It's just a great time yeah. to, to sit up and watch it back in the day. Yeah, man, it was me up there. It was uh, Taryn Killam, Kristen Wiig, uh, Andy Sandberg. Yeah. Well, they were there a couple of years, and then they left. But Andy was up there. 80 came through with Cecily. And of course, Kate came. Um, Kristen Wiig, uh, who are Fred Armisen, Jason Sudeikis. Keenan was up there. Man, it was... Yeah, man, it was it was definitely a blessing how, to be on that show. How, how much really good stuff, in your opinion, got left kind of on the cutting room floor during your run there? Oh man, there was a lot. <laughs> You're talking about talking about piles of sketches, bro. Yeah. Like I would I would write two sketches every week, and two of them would get pulled almost every week. But it was all good. Uh, <laughs> It was, a, it was it was a couple of characters that I wish that I could have I could have done and got out there, but um, you know you just you know when other other opportunities pop off, man, you just yeah. gotta you just gotta jump at them and you just gotta solidify your position more in the more in the comedic world and in the entertainment industry. So you you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, man. But uh, hopefully when I go back and host, uh, actually I went I went back to SNL over the holiday and I was talking to Lauren and it felt like I was, it felt like I came back from college and he said, he he told, he said, um, he said, find him, man. He's like, call me up. Let's talk. I was like, yeah, we're going to do that. So you can look, maybe there'll be something in the future with Jay. That's sweet. I got four movies coming out. So, you know, I definitely need to promote them. Well, Yeah, you you can promote him right here again. Jay Farrow is with us. He's going to be here downtown at the uh, Helium Comedy Club. Did you say you went to Norfolk State? Is that where you said you did the radio show? Oh, I went to I went to Virginia Commonwealth University. Oh. I did the, I did the radio show at Norfolk State though. I did do that. 
Because I was thinking I that's where uh, Kylo Quinn, right, Tony? Kylo Quinn that plays here for the Pacers went to Norfolk State. And I was just trying yeah, to make a yeah, sports yeah. connection. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's so many. So there's so the the amount of athletes that have come out of the Tidewater area. I don't know. It's something in the water. I don't know. They're putting roids in the water. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I'm lucky. I don't drink the water. I drink bottled Dasani. Ex- so I've exactly. never experienced that. Well, yeah. So There's Mo Alley Cox. Mo Alley Cox played for the Colts at tight end who went to VCU, but he played yeah. basketball at Virginia Commonwealth and not football, and now he's a tight end here. So I was just trying to make a sports connection with you right there. No, nah, so. man, for sure. No, there are there are, um, the the number of the number of athletes that come out of Virginia, man, is they're they're numerous. There's so many yeah. of them, man. So many so many they've gone like get the Colts players, like you got BJ Upton, he came out you got Lawrence Taylor, Allen Iverson. You have um, Alonzo Mourning. He went to my high school. Um, not at the same time because, you know, he's he old as hell, and I'm not. Well, damn, but, we're the same age. You just said, well, I'm old as hell. We're, yeah, we're the oh, same sorry, age. No, no, no. I meant in regard to me. Uh, I'm not talking about you personally. It's not uh, a personal attack. I just didn't want people to think that I was going to school the same time Alonzo was because that is not factual at all. I was a sperm, Okay. So, oh, no. I, I can't wait. This is going to be a great weekend. I know you're tired. I appreciate you hopping on here, too. And, and I'm, I'm very oh, happy. Oh, oh. This comedy club is going to be the real deal. We're going to send some people from the show that are hearing you right now down to your show this weekend Word. as well. And I want everybody listening right now to make sure you tell Jay that you heard him right here. Because as spectacular as he's been here, he's going to be equal and certainly better than that coming up this weekend. I'm, I'm very happy for you, and I'm very happy for for them i really am oh thank you man i hope i hope to see i hope to see the folks out man come out dude grand opening one of the best live shows you will ever see in your life i put that i put that on everything and uh yeah man indianapolis baby let's rock anytime you run through town you let us know too we'd love to have you thank you jay for sure man thank you take it easy jay farrow is on the andy moore automotive group hotline that was outstanding i loved that loved it Hey, Tony, jump on here really quick. Let's give away some tickets here. You want to? Yeah, we've got, uh, got a pair. Two pairs. So two winners, get a pair yep. to go check out his show. I believe we're giving the show coming up on Sunday at the Helium Club, 239-1070. 239-1070, number seven right now is going to go on us. You can tell Jay that you heard him right here. That is the Helium Comedy Club downtown. Circle Center Mall. It's right next to Burger Study off of Georgia and Meridian. You are going to love it. Grand opening weekend is with Jay Farrow. Back with you next.